For the last one year or so, we have covered a plethora of Omni models on the channel. Not only closed source labs like OpenAI have released a lot of Omni models, but also we have covered Omni models from Tencent, Hanjuan, NVIDIA, and the list goes on and on and on. Omni models are the models which can talk, see, and also can deal with images, but also can read and sort of write and reason. These Omni models are trying to bring all the modalities from audio, vision, text, coding, everything under the umbrella of one model. In this video, I'm not going to show you yet another Omni model. Rather, I'm going to show you this tool Gabber, which we will install locally. Gabber is a real-time AI engine designed to help developers build multimodal AI applications that can process and respond through voice, text, video, and other media streams simultaneously. You can use it not only with open source models, but also you can install models locally and use them with it. You can also use it with closed source or closed labs model like OpenAI. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. And now let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Konda. While that happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who is Gradient. The team at Gradient has also open source Parallax, which is a distributed model serving framework that lets you build your own AI cluster anywhere using heterogeneous hardware, including NVIDIA and Apple Silicon. Parallax is not just another local LLM runner. It is a path to open intelligence, providing a system to run large AI models like Quen3 to 35 billion locally or across geographies without relying on expensive cloud providers. Think of Parallax as a sovereign AI operating system that puts user in control. I will drop their link in video's description, so please do check them out. Okay, let's go back and our Conda environment is created. And now let's git clone the repo of Gabber and I will drop the link to it in video's description. That's done. And then you can simply enable the secrets file. So I'm just copying it. Let me show you in the VS code how it looks like. And this is what it looks like. And you can simply put in your open AI's API key or any other API key if you want to use the closed models. But I'm going to try it out with a local model. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Let's go back to our terminal and let me clear the screen. One prerequisite which you would need, I would highly suggest is Docker. You can make it or build it on your local system, but I think Docker one is better. So I already have a recent version of Docker installed. I'm just going to use Docker Composer from the root of the repo, and it is going to pull all the components of it like live kit and stuff. While it does that, let me talk a bit more about the architecture and other stuff for this Gabber tool. So behind the scene, this tool is using a graph based architecture where apps are composed of interconnected functional units called nodes. Each node performs a specific task such as media ingestion, transcription, emotion analysis, or response generation and communicates through pads that send or receive data streams in real time. Developers can structure complex interactive AI workflows by linking those nodes that allows Gabber to handle dynamic, stateful interactions like conversations, live analysis, or even intelligent media processing. It also supports subgraphs, which are reusable nested node groups that simplify modular app design. And it has one front end, three backend services, and the three backend services are engine, editor, and repository. The front end is built in Next.js, which is the main interface, and then the engine execute apps. The editor provides backend support for the front end, and the repo handles data storage and retrieval. And everything um, from these components gets stored locally. And now everything is running on our local system, as you can see. And we will keep that window running in a new terminal window. Simply go to services 
and then local llm from here you can run this script in order to use quen's omni 7 billion model and there are few other models in quantized format which you can download and run for your omni requirements and that is going to install and download everything so let's wait for it again it is going to take a bit of a time and then you can access it in the browser through um, open a compatible url and it has downloaded the model it is consuming around 8 gig of vram as you can see and the model is now being served with vllm on our local system and this is what it has done here and this is our model okay so the model is ready and the gabber is also running on our local host let's check it out in the browser and there you go the gabber is running on our local host at port 3000 now you can create your own app here you can set more secrets like i told you around openai api key and a lot of other things these are the graphs which i was talking about where you can also check them out and you can also import your apps uh, very easily and once you click on examples you can see that there are some different uh, stuff which you can check out like there is an echo if you want to try it out simple voice ai and all that stuff now i am accessing it through my vnc client in a remote host so my voice or you know talking back might not work as expected but as long as your uh, mic and speakers are accessible this should work fine so i've just made the screen bit bigger let me turn on this audio you can also enable video if your camera is available mine is not so i'm just going to click on audio click on run takes bit of a time to start hello 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 there hello there hello there so you see it is, you see it is okay it is echoing my voice and this is a workflow to connect your llm where all you need to do is to create these nodes and then you construct your llm context using system message and then you can specify a lot of other variables i will try to make it a bit more bigger so this is a max which cannot fit on my screen as you can see um, but these are some of the hyperparameters and then what you can include in terms of audio video images or whatever you want to use as a modality now, if you ask my personal opinion, I think most of these graph based tools and especially the way you can drag and drop on your screen, they are very limited. The start is good, but I think it could be more flexible, especially in terms of supporting all of these modalities because it is not easy, uh, especially when you are using stuff like LifeKit and you're integrating into your tool. You have to make sure that latency is not there and it works with a lot of um, you know tools and frameworks especially when it is dependent on local hardware but again i think a good effort not bad at all early days maybe it will improve more in the coming days that's it please let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and try to become a member as that helps thank you for all the support